Hello students, I hope you are doing well in the exams and in this particular video I will be telling you the important numerical of how to find skewness by using Carl Pearson uh, formula and uh, the students of MCO 22 and MCO uh, 03 they should watch this video very carefully because uh, you know in both the subjects this skewness is a common chapter and you might get one question from here. So let's start with this and uh, it's purely like uh, statistics and we are talking about how to find uh, skewness now you must have heard about uh, the class and frequency there are two types of classes one is closed class the other is open end class so in this video we'll be uh, looking at the numerical of closed class so how is the closed class looks like uh, just let me uh, write this let's take a very simple question the class 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30 and 30 to 40 so this is called class and it is you know closed from both the ends okay both the ends i mean the starting end and the closing end so both are closed and uh, let's take uh, number of students or even uh, simply you can write f and uh, let this be uh, 2 3 4 and 1 so total number of students here is 10 okay so this is the question like marks obtained by 10 students uh, now we are to find the skewness by using carl pearson if the class is end there is no open end it is a closed class then we will use uh, Carl Pearson formula this is the formula uh, Carl Pearson of finding skewness the formula is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation so like the students who do not know how to find mean how to find made, uh, ma uh, mode and standard standard deviation so you will also get to know okay, how to find all these uh, uh, statistical averages okay so now first of all because we have to use this formula so first find mean now to find mean uh, basically we use this formula this is the symbol of mean x whole bar and uh, this is the formula a plus sigma fd by sigma f into c so this is called step deviation formula of finding uh, mean okay now to find this we have to you know find out all these values from here okay first of all first find uh, x x is called the midpoint of the class this is called midpoint midpoint of the class that means 0 to 10 the midpoint is 5 10 to 20 the midpoint is 15 here 25 and this is 35 then find d now how to find d uh, from this midpoint you will take one assumed mean so there are uh, four variables here so either you can take uh, you know the third one or second one whatever doesn't matter so i will prefer here this 25 as assumed mean so now how to find d uh, to find d this is uh, like you will subtract 25 minus 5 divided by the class size is that clear i mean 5 minus 25 you get minus 20 minus 20 divided by class size class size here is 10 because in all the classes the difference the difference is 10 so this is called class size c okay class size so what you have to do very simple 5 minus 25 you get 20 20 by 10 so you get minus 20 am i right uh, <coughs> sorry this is minus 2 like that uh, 15 minus 25 is minus 10 minus 10 divided by 10 you get minus 1 uh, here you will get always 0 then 35 minus 25 10 10 divided by 10 you get 1 so there you are with d d means deviation okay in statistics now we have to find f f into d so find out here fd 
एफ डी दैट मीन्स यू विल मल्टीप्लाई एफ विथ डी सो टू इंटू माइनस टू यू गेट माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री हियर जीरो एंड वन एंड वेन यू विल फाइंड द सम ऑफ दिस यू गेट सिग्मा एफ डी एंड बी वेरी पर्टिकुलर माइनस फोर माइनस थ्री माइनस सेवन प्लस वन सो यू गेट माइनस सिक्स ओके नाउ वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ मीन हियर ए ए फॉर एज्यूम्ड मीन वी हैव टेकन ट्वेंटी फाइव सिग्मा एफ डी इज माइनस सिक्स सिग्मा एफ दिस इज द सिग्मा एफ द टोटल दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एन ओके एन एंड सिग्मा एफ बोथ आर सेम सो दिस इज टेन एंड क्लास साइज सी इट्स टेन सो टेन टेन रिड्यूस्ड सो यू गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस सिक्स सो दैट इक्वल टू नाइनटीन सो दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ मीन राइट like that uh, we will find mode now to find mode uh, we use this formula l plus f1 minus f0 whole divided by 2f1 minus f0 minus f2 into c uh, this formula looks bit uh, you know critical but doesn't matter it's not so difficult we have done this in class 10 okay now to find mode is very simple you have to decide uh, the large the class with the largest frequency okay now see the frequency there are four classes so the frequency here four is the highest one so you will take you will consider this as modal class this is called modal class modal class okay now here this 4 is called f1 the preceding number is f0 and the succeeding number is f2 now put all these values here now l is the lower limit of the class so that is uh, 20 plus uh, f1 so f1 is 4 uh, minus 3 divided by 2f1 2f1 uh, here is 8 minus again f03 minus 1 into class size is 10 so you have to calculate here 1 uh, 1 into 10 so you get 10 here and 8 minus 3 5 minus 4 is that clear so 20 plus 2.5 so the mode will be 22.5 so this is the value of mode of this particular frequency okay now we will find Uh, standard deviation now to find standard deviation okay <coughs> <coughs> sorry so to find uh, standard deviation uh, we use this formula sigma f d square by n plus sigma f d by n whole square whole under square root into c so you have to learn this formulas okay now there are some uh, you know variables here which you have to find out okay like fd square okay we need to find sigma fd square now we have done up to fd now let's see how to find fd square it's very simple when you multiply d with fd you get fd square so minus 2 into minus 4 you get plus 8 here Uh, 3 this is 0 this is 1 so the sum will give you sigma fd square so that will be equal to 12 so this is the value of sigma fd square and uh, the other values i think we have right so now we will try to solve this okay sigma fd square here is 12 uh, total frequency is 10 plus uh, sigma fd is minus 6 and again this is 10 whole square class size 10 so you're going to solve this the simplest way to calculate this for, i will tell you uh, this is 36 divided by 100 we have made a square of this minus 6 square is 36 plus 36 10 square is 100 uh, now take lcm of 10 and 100 you get 100 here and uh, here 120 plus 36 into 10 okay 
दिस विल बी वन फिफ्टी सिक्स बाय हंड्रेड होल अंडर स्क्वायर रूट नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड यू यू कैन डिवाइड दिस यू गेट वन पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स होल अंडर स्क्वायर रूट इंटू टेन एज एक्चुअली स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन कैलकुलेशन करने में थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्टी हो सकती है बिकॉज यहाँ पे स्क्वायर रूट्स वगैरह हैं एंड जिन स्टूडेंट्स को स्क्वायर रूट निकालना नहीं आता सो uh, वो थोड़ा सा सीखें यू नो सिंपल है तो वन पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स आई थिंक इसकी जब वैल्यू निकालेंगे स्क्वायर रूट की मे बी वन पॉइंट टू फोर अराउंड इसके आसपास में आएगी इंटू टेन सो द फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन विल बी ट्वेल्व पॉइंट फोर राइट नाउ नाउ वी विल फाइंड कॉल पियर्सन formula by using carl pearson formula we will find skewness now let's see we have got all the values here now mean the value of mean here is 19 minus the value of mod is 22.5 and uh, standard deviation is uh, 12.4 so when you subtract this i think you get uh, 3.5 by 12.4 so uh, but this will be minus because 19 minus 22.5 that will give you minus 3.5 divided by uh, 12.4 so when you divide this you get the value and uh, this minus stands for you can write the conclusion uh, sometimes you know question mein aapko pooch sakta hai ki bhai iski skewness ki uh, direction batao how is the skewness so you should write it here that uh, it is negatively skewed it is negatively skewed kyunki yahan pe negative ki value aa gayi hai and therefore the student should take more uh, attention toward the studies actually they are you know the their averages are decreasing okay so this is the conclusion uh, like we can have after calculating the skewness of this particular distribution so friends uh, this is how we will use to find uh, skewness by using carl pearson method i hope you would have understood this not very difficult you might get this type of question in the exams so thank you very much for watching this video and a very best of luck